So just talking about pH. So alkaline are things that are like the base and they, in your mouth, they might taste kind of bitter. Um, and then acidic, the acidic end of the pH scale, those are things that are gonna taste really sour. So can anyone think of some sour food? Alexis? Unready grapes. Grapes? That are not ready, that are like um, on the branch and they're only half grown. Okay, okay. So before they've had a chance to ripen, something might be more acidic. Okay, Lucy says limes. Um, yes, yeah, so most citrus, citrus things. Uh, salad dressing, okay, so like just oil and vinegar salad dressing is going to be a little bit more acidic. Um, and then things that are more alkaline are going to be a lot of fruits and vegetables, um, zucchini, green beans, carrots, cumbers, um, all of all of those those things are uh, more alkaline. Whereas the things that are more acidic are often a lot of drinks are acidic, actually. Uh, so coffee, tea that kind of stuff. Um, even sugar is more acidic than other things. So on a scale, I think typically it just, yeah, I think, I think you can have something all the way up to 14, like zero to 14. And so seven, like I said, is right in the middle. And that is, so right in the middle is water. It's very, you know, minor, like it's just, it's not, it's not acidic, it's not alkaline, it's just right in the middle. And other things are also tend to be kind of in the middle, like, well, you know, things that are related to water in your body, like spit, and urine should also be pretty close to the pH of water because it should be mostly water. Um, it's just like a slightly off. Milk um, is mostly water, so milk is pretty close to seven. So that's the first one I'll show you today. So I have water and I just labeled it this way. Okay, so you guys can see the color is like green, kind of interesting. So I put in these little pH tablets. And so the pH tablets kind of go from like purple to green to yellow to red. Um, so that's just the different shades of things. So we mentioned how lemon juice and lime juice would be very acidic, right? So this is lemon juice, so you guys can see how pink it is. So a very different color from the water, right? Completely different color, very different. And then I also have vinegar, which is another acid. Um, but do you think that vinegar is more acidic? than lime or lemon juice, lime or lemon juice more acidic than vinegar. Which one do you think is going to be a darker red? Which one will be more acidic? Just a guess. Oh. 
So Kaylee says vinegar. Not very many people willing to uh, just guess today for fun. Okay, which one would you, I mean, think about which one would you would be more kind of, if you were to drink it, which one would be like, ooh, that's, that's not as good. That's more acidic. Because the more acidic something is, the harsher it's going to be to taste. So which one do you think is going to be like, whoa, okay. So it's interesting, they are very similar, but I do think the vinegar, this is the vinegar, is just a little bit darker. Okay, so they're similar, but the vinegar is just a little bit more intense. And you see that difference? It's a little bit more pink, it's a little bit more red. Okay, so the vinegar is a little bit more acidic. Okay. So now on the other end of the spectrum, so those are the things that are really acidic. Um, on the other end of the spectrum, we have things that are really alkaline. And so it's kind of interesting because um, some of those things are, are really like almost nice, like they're good for us, a lot of the food like that's more um, along that scale. But the things that are really alkaline actually start to get really gross. So baking soda is, is alkaline, um, laundry detergents and soap. Lye, if you remember how what lye is used for, is used to make soap. Um, so there are some cleaning materials that are really alkaline. So I have ammonia leach, which are both used for cleaning, and they are both very alkaline. So let me show you what color that ends up being. So it's like a dark purple is what the ammonia is. Okay. Now, I wasn't totally thinking when I did the next thing. Okay, so the bleach should actually look the same color as the ammonia, but it doesn't. Why? The bleach should be the same as this, but why is it not? Anyone have a guess? No guesses? What do you guys know about bleach? What does it do to stuff? Chlorine bleach. It does smell bad, that is true. Can you repeat the question? Yeah, so the bleach should look the same as the ammonia, but it doesn't. Why? And what bleach do we know might, about bleach? So if you were to dye something, like let's say you have a, a blue hoodie and you put you spray bleach all over it, it makes it white or it fades. So it takes the color out of the thing like nail polish remover. Exactly. So you know what's really interesting about the um, about this is when I put in the pH tablet, it actually did turn really dark purple right away. And then like as the pH tablet disintegrated, it like did all these little like lines coming up and then it, they faded away. So it had all these little dark purple lines that disappeared as I put it in, it's kind of cool because the bleach was getting rid of the color, <laughs> okay? Which 
I'm used to using pH strips. And so it like didn't even occur to me that when I put in the tablet, of course, the colors going to go away. I just didn't even think about it. Um, so kind of, kind of interesting. So I'm going to show you a quick, let me just share my screen quickly. So you see, just some information about pH. Okay, so here are some sort of typical liquids that you can think about. So battery acid is really acidic, lemon juice, vinegar, or juice, all, all of this is fairly similar. Um, it could be a little bit different than this. Uh, like I said, coffee is a little acidic. And then Water is right here at seven. A lot of these other things are just sort of mildly acidic. And then you have other things that are more alkaline. So the bleach should really be darker than the neon, but it's not. Um, and so you can look at different, like what acid rain is like. And we talked about how that can affect different pieces. This is sort of like different food. So bananas are just slightly acidic along with a lot of other fruit. Whoops. And what happened? To my, here we go. So this one is kind of small for you to see but you can see how these things that are more alkaline that it says like tomatoes red peppers pineapple wild rice cantaloupe oranges um, and then zucchini green beans tangerines grapes asparagus this kind of stuff so all of that is those are all high alkaline things and the down here for acidic, we have yeah, coffee. So this is a lot of edible stuff. So if you're interested in sort of what pH things are, uh, it can be kind of interesting just to look through and see what the different pH levels. Your body needs to have a balance of pH. So like that's why if your stomach is upset because you've had too much acid, then milk of magnesia, that's like what, um, you know, Pepto-Bismol and stuff is. So like a lot of uh, Tums and things are more alkaline to balance out the fact that you have eaten too many acidic foods. So if you eat too many acidic foods, it hurts your stomach. And so you need to balance it out, which is yet another reason to eat fruits and vegetables. Like a lot of vegetables are alkaline because it helps to balance out your system. So you want to have a pH in your body. Okay, so you can look up whatever you want to about um, pH just for fun. Do whatever. Uh, all of that is pretty interesting.